Okay, I've got power now provided here. Uh, 7.4 volt battery. And this is just to set up, but that's, I'll be powering with a 7.4 LiPo. I'm programming line number three or servo number three. I've got it plugged into this port here. And that port there is the feed to my receiver, which is the central box for the gear channel. So it, it recognizes the gear switch. I've already programmed servo one, which is my front leg. And we're gonna go ahead and, and program servo three here, which is my right hand undercarriage. Okay, so you notice I haven't got the undercarriage plugged in, so we can't go wrong there. And I'll just show you as best I can. We've got mode buttons down this side, then we've got plus minus buttons in the center, and then we've got an array of lights, and it all means something. And I'll uh, provide the sheet that I found from the internet, which is a rudimentary instruction. Before we get started, uh, there is a switch here which you can regulate the power to your servos. So if your servos can only handle six volts, you need to switch that down. I've got it at 7.4 to 8.4. we get started, I'll just show you that the servo is powered up. I've got a, um, a test servo horn on there just for reference. And I've put some marks just to give myself an idea of uh, starting point and finish point over there. If where I need to be close to before I put the actual door on. So I've got my jetty radio undercarriage in the up position. The signal here is saying in the up position and I'll start to program now. So one, two, line three is down the bottom here. And this is the mode button. I'm going to hold that mode button in. It'll flash. It doesn't give you a lot of time. It'll start flashing. Okay, one, two, three. And you can change the direction while it's flashing. I'll just show you. Okay, so we want it to start in that position there. And then I hit the mode button again and it starts flashing for endpoints. And you can actually change the endpoint. See the servo moving there? At the moment, I'm close to where I want it. So I'm just gonna leave it about there and we'll do the fine tuning once. Okay, so it's, if you do nothing, it jumps out of that programming mode. So you have to hold the mode button in again. And there we go. And then scroll through, that's where I was. The other end point is now flashing and we can start adjusting that. Okay, so I'll get it close. And then the last step is something that I don't understand, I'm leaving it on C, which I think is just the standard mode. And that's program now. So C, I think is just doors open, stay open when the gear's down. And I think the D mode might be like a sequence, double sequence door for things like Mustangs. Okay, so we're still working on tuning the door at the moment and I've loosely fitted the actual push rod to the door. I've been back onto the programming here without actually plugging in the undercarriage yet and just got the door so it's working where I want it. So both endpoints are correct and the correct uh, direction. And one thing you need to do, once you're programming this thing, you've actually got to push all the way through four steps, go through the whole sequence then leave it and it'll stay on C flashing and then it'll go back to uh, revert back out of programming and it'll remember that if you stop halfway, it's not going to remember it. So you need to go through all four steps and it'll program, it'll hold the program. Okay, this is where we get to test if we've done it right. So gear's plugged in, test servo arm is on with the door disconnected so we don't break anything. And I'll switch my transmitter switch gear now. What we should see is the servo move first. There we go. And the gear comes down. Isn't that beautiful gear too? And the suspension on this JP stuff is beautiful. I really like it. And it's so cost effective. You do a great job. Excellent. Let's try the other way. So good. The servo didn't move. So we're not going to smash doors. Here comes the... Undercarriage. 
work of art, eh? Hello, door works. There we have it, the programming of the JP controller. I'll do the Servo 2 next. Just before I go, uh, upside down, brake controller, but they provided a brake controller too with uh, adjustable braking both sides. You can get controllers with gyros. This is just as effective if you um, tune it up. Very happy.